Ah, you're on time. Actually, I'm three minutes early. What's on the record? How could I not see him for what it is? <sighs> Babe, can you just let it go? Who's he talking about? Aaron, the other internet work. Sneaky scumbag. Wow, go! That's high praise coming from you, Mr. Sneaky himself. Shut up, lah. Aren't you late for school? No. I still have one and a half more minutes. That Aaron stole my idea. Technically, it was his idea. But I told him about KS20. Yeah, and he developed his own idea from it. Oh, so it's because of your own big mouth. Hey, you better not talk so much to get to school. Huh? What? I should... <gasps> you know, it's true. He could have mentioned your name, but that's all. Suzanne is right. Be the bigger man, Chris. Don't let this affect your professionalism. Hmm? Stop sulking, baby. I got your back. We're late for work. Come on, let's go. Good morning! Hey, you're back early. What did you call me? I could have picked you up at the airport. Yeah, it's okay. I got the only morning flight. How was your trip? Ah, oh, good news. At least I get a better sense of uh, what's going on at the Indonesia factory. I think I know how to fight this PR fire. Good. Why don't you take the rest of the day off? Oh. I want to update Pa and Wafik as soon as possible. Oh. Yeah, wait. Hmm? Um, I want to show you something. Lisa? Ma found it. It's a list of all the food in the school canteen. <sighs> all the calories they contain? Where would you stop obsessing with all this? Just have to watch her closely. It always feels like one step forward and two step back. She's due for a checkup next week at a specialist. We'll see what he says. They are not helping much. They always say her BMI is not low enough. They cannot do anything. You know what? I just want a solution to all this. The doctor did say that it would take time. We just have to be patient. Fighting with Melbourne for all this while, it's even more tiring than work. Even yesterday, I was running around Jakarta. I felt so relieved to be away from all this. I'm sorry. I googled myself. All those nasty comments and nasty blogs about me have dropped down by 80%. Soon, the internet will forget all about pandemonium and her malicious attacks on me. Actually, I'm glad we reported it. Bullies need to know that they can't get away with this. And they can't mess with Fru Fru Shu. Even those three know better now. <clears throat> hey, Fritti! Still not talking to me? You know, Eddie didn't have anything to do with the cyberbullying. Yeah! But he was still a blabbermouth and he covered for his girlfriend. Just as bad. An ex-girlfriend! Haven't I suffered enough? No. Nope. We're not even yet. But it's okay if he hangs out with us. Silence means okay. Welcome back to the clique, Eddie. Check out my own watch. Chris? Yep. Wafik wants us to come up with a proposal for the charity event, ASAP. Alright, no problem. He wants ideas. What type of event, concert, exhibition, family carnival? Sure, I'll put something together. It's my time to shine. Then shine on, my friend. You better razzle and dazzle the boss because Wafik also mentioned that boss is only going to retain one intern as full-time staff after the anniversary celebrations are over. What? You mean it's either me or Aaron? Yup, based on your performance and how well the charity event goes. Kind of like the Hunger Games, huh? No, it's much worse. My career is at stake. Then... May the odds be ever in your favour. And then I said, Eddie, you jump some more, lah, huh? your truck is going to fall off. Huh? <laughs> so naughty, didn't want to listen. <laughs> and then a wave came and hit him hard. 
His trunks fell all the way down to his ankle. Uh, yeah. We all saw his kukuchiao. <laughs> After that, we call him Mr. Kukuchiao. Uncle <laughs> <laughs> Richard, what's up, honey? Hello, Mr. Kukuchiao. <laughs> I was just telling your teacher. <laughs> what is it about? Oh. Upon the time when Eddie was five years old and his swimming trunks fell off, <laughs> oh. everybody saw everything. <laughs> shame, shame. <laughs> yes, I know this story. Yeah. I can't believe all of you. Funny. Eddie, this has to be more humiliating than anything my bullies have put me through. I think we're even now. <laughs> <laughs> So what did Wafik say in his email? Uh, to include estimated budget, number of participants, simple schedule of events, yada yada yada. Does he need a breakdown of participant demographics? What exactly did he say? Okay, 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 chill, chill, chill. We will brainstorm the best proposal he's ever seen, okay? I need my presentation to be better than that, Aaron. And it will, and I'll help you. Oh. Aaron just hit the reply all to Wafik's email. I'm confident that the team will rise to the occasion. Mm. Thank you for the opportunity to be part of the KS Foods family. He's good. Yeah. And bootlegging, what a sucker. <laughs> yeah. You're just mad that you didn't send the email first. Eddie! Mrs. Vera! I noticed you've made up with your friends. Yeah. Good. You know, friends are very important. In future, I suggest you choose your girlfriends more carefully. Oh, okay. Are you trying to score a date with me? I must tell you that my prices have gone up, you know? Do you want detention? No, thanks. Bye, Mrs. Vera. Well, maybe this is a good sign. How can this be good? Before this, Melissa refuses to eat anything. Now, at least with this calorie counting, she's eating. Although it's just one-eighth of a meal, but it's a good start. Baby steps. She's not a baby already. She needs to grow up and stop this nonsense. Pa, she's trying. I'm trying. I spoke to my psychology professor. He said that the key is not to make it all about food. My granddaughter is not eating. If it's not about food, then what? We need to get to the psychological root of the problem. Melissa may be struggling to cope with stress. When her fears and anxiety increase, she may find that this is the only part of life that she can control. Melissa is so happy. Her schoolwork is good. What's stress? Children feel stress too. There are expectations and pressures to excel. Since when did Mrs. Pereira and Akong become such good friends? Hmm? What are you thinking? Don't tell me. It's an unhealthy alliance. I must put an end to this friendship. I said don't tell me. Too late. Are you gonna help me? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Haven't you heard? You must always listen to what your uncle tells you to do. Michael, Go. something's going on with my great-grandfather. Come, hurry up, come! I have nothing to do. It was... Sorry, sorry, excuse me. Taikong, what's going on? Someone posted indecent photos of KGJC girls online. Again? The pervert's still around? He's here. He is the tangling dirty old man. I saw a video of him in the park. Aiyah, uh, he's not the tangling dirty old man, ah. Uh. Then prove it to us. Show us your handphones. You young people uh, have no respect for elders, you know. Would you please come with me to my office? Hey Ben, Nico, came to pick up your food. Yeah, sorry for the last minute order. I know you guys are busy. It's okay, we're family. Food's almost ready. Um, how's Melissa? Still the same. Here you go. Hi, Adam. Hi. 
ลองทำลองซีฮะลองทำลองซี Made this specially for Melissa. Oh, thanks. Uh, uh, how much is it? Oh, it's on the house. Seriously, how much is it? It's okay, really, Adam. Here you go. Thanks. Hey, Chris. I was thinking, why don't we work together for the charity event proposal? We work well together. Thanks to your insight about KS20, I was able to align it with the charity angle, and the bosses loved it. What do you say? Okay, sure. Great. I'll see you later. Really? Well, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. <laughs> Did we need to come here? Well, I really want laksa, and they have the best. Hurry up and order. I have an ICU patient to get back to. Ah, good afternoon. Hey, hi, Arjun. What can I get for you? Oh, our menu is yeah, on the wall. Yeah, I know the menu is on the wall. Grilled chicken sandwich, no avocado. Instead of mayo, give me oil and vinegar vinaigrette. Okay. Uh, and for me? Hi, Auntie. Um, laksa takeaway. Oh, please hold the laksa leaves. The chopped bits get stuck between my teeth. <laughs> sure. Give us a moment. Yeah. Ben. Just because he and Diana have broken up, doesn't give him the right to be so rude. Pa, how's the food? Well, there's too much. I have an idea. We serve it like buffet style. Smaller portion, but more choices. Maybe will help. Your daughter is a smart girl. You know that, right? At least we try. Oh, j i n k a i made it specially for Melissa. Shh. Here you go. One laksa and grilled chicken sandwich. Thanks very much. Ready? I said no avocado. Oh, um, sorry about that. Hey, I'm gonna go in first. See you later. How hard is it to make a sandwich? It doesn't take an Einstein to get this order right. I'll fix it. Yeah, make it quick. I haven't got all day to wait for your incompetence. Hey, look here. I... Uh, sorry, Arjun. It's our mistake. We'll fix it right away. It won't be long. Um, please have a drink on the house. Yeah. No avocado. Got it. Singaporeans today are more health conscious. They like to keep fit, and running in particular has become very popular in the recent years. Hence, I'd like to propose that our KS20 charity event to be a marathon. This will appeal to the upper middle class and the PMEBs who are hard to reach from a marketing perspective. Good. Very nice. Thank you. I think it's a good idea too, but it's not great. Shouldn't we be reaching out to all demographics and not just the upper middle class and PMEBs? We should be more inclusive. That's a good point. My suggestion is we change the marathon into a walkathon. People from all walks of life, young and old, can walk with us. That's a much better idea. I like it. Smart thinking, e r i n Yes, I agree. You know, with all the negative press surrounding the uh, Indonesian factories, I think this might just be what we need to create a more people-friendly image. Good job. Okay, here we go. What's this funny food? Something special from TCH. You like it, Marisa? See? Hmm, yummy. Try. But I can't tell what's in it. Carrot or potato? Potato good for you. It's a carbohydrate. Mel, how s school? Okay. Any tests coming along? How's your revisions? 
Yeah. Anytime you feel stressed, you can always talk to us, okay? Hmm. Okay. Mel, you have to eat something. Stop playing with your food. But I don't want. I'm not hungry. Fine. Don't eat. But next week, you're going back to the clinic. And if the doctor says you have lost weight, you'll be going to the hospital. Then you won't go to school, you won't see your friends. Do you want that? Then eat. Adam. Come. I will help you. See. Yeah. See? Ah. Uh. Here's your sandwich. No avocado. That wasn't too hard now, was it? Okay. Did I do something to offend you, Dr. Arjun? Or do you just treat people like crap because you're on your way to being some hotshot surgeon? Whoa! Chip on your shoulder. Wonder what she sees in you. Who's she? Don't patronize me. I have no idea what you're talking about. Diana. So you think me and Diana... Don't treat me like an idiot. I know you're seeing each other. Sorry to disappoint you, but we're just friends. She's not seeing anyone. So she lied to me. At least, you know, she didn't leave you for someone. Is that better? Did, did she say anything about me? Mm, no. Diana's stubborn. Once she's made up her mind, you, you can't change it. Guess it's really over. Sorry, man. So, nothing, right? I didn't take any indecent photos. I'm very sorry. I had to do the investigation. It's okay. We know you have a job to do and you have to be responsible to your students. So, we can still do our gardening here? Of course. You're always welcomed here. Thank you. <clears throat> of course, those photos are no longer in their phone. They probably deleted them already. It's obvious those old guys are the perverts. Oi, my Kong and Uncle Richie are innocent. Stop spreading false rumors. I know my Tai Kong. He definitely wouldn't do a thing like this. You guys are family. Of course, you're going to defend him. Who's going to believe you? Who's going to believe you? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what is loser? No wonder the girlfriend is so weak. What do you mean me? You're not going to be fat. You're not going to be fat. I feel so sick. I feel so full. And it's all your fault. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's, it's my fault, but it's for your own good. No, you don't care whether I become disgusting, fat or ugly. You are talking nonsense. You are not fat. You are not ugly. You are so pretty. I can't let you just the way you are. Lisa. Melissa. Melissa? Got any more good idea? Good job, man. See, I told you, we work so well together. What are you talking about? The Wokaton was your idea. Actually, it's the same idea that you proposed, but with one crucial difference. So I can't take all the credit. Team? Once again, good work. We have decided to officially call the event the KS20 Charity Walkathon. And Aaron, I want you to be the head coordinator. Me? Thank you, sir. Well, you deserve it. 
You'll be reporting directly to me. Chris, you'll be assisting. Your idea was good too, Chris, but Aaron was able to consider things from all angles and not just go with conventional ones. It's a very important skill. Do learn from him. Lisa, no school today? It's Children's Day, Akko. Oh. Lisa, have some breakfast? I'm full. Hmm? Okay, have some fruits. Okay, how about... A healthy glass of juice. Hmm? But I don't want to drink this. Uh, see what you did.